we have one more day in the week praise the lord but i wanted to pop on and this is not going to be long just to talk about a topic that i feel the lord has been leading me to talk about and that topic is stress now i must admit that last week has been an extremely stressful week for me this week was not as stressful as last week but i did experience some stress this week earlier today i had a friend call me and she started to talk about a particular topic and you guessed it the topic was about stress she felt stressed and she was asking some advice as to how to deal with the stress that she was going through needless to say i was going through stress myself to be very honest with you and so i hung up the phone we talked we prayed for one another like we usually do and uh i gave her my perspective she gave me her perspective you know the bible says iron sharpens iron and then as i hung up the phone the phone rang again and it was another friend and this friend started to talk about all of the things that she has been going through over the last few months very very stressful stuff that she disclosed and i said wow we're all we're all friends i had a stressful week last week not knowing that my two very close friends had a stressful week this week and so I feel like the Lord is saying, let's talk about stress. Okay? Now, before we talk about it, let's really analyze what it is. We know that stress is the physiological and psychological reaction to stressors in the environment. Now, when I say stressors, stressors can be a multiplicity of things. It can be uh, a troublesome relationship, a troublesome marriage. It could be a boss that doesn't like you. It can be you just feel overwhelmed because it's just so much work to do on the job. It could be stress. It could be many things. Family conflict, family situations, money can be a stressor. Bills can be a stressor. You know, so stressors can be a plethora of things, all right? And I think the question that's important for us to really think about and to analyze is why am I stressed? Why am I stressed? So I wanna encourage all of you to really think about this question. Um, I believe that we are stressed for many reasons. Number one, I know God says that we are to cast all our cares upon him for he cares for us. But how many of us really cast all our cares? Sometimes we give God the huge cares, the big cares, you know, the cares that we think we need his intervention for, or the cares that we deem too difficult for us to handle. But the Bible doesn't say cast some of your cares. It says cast all of your cares. Sometimes we hold back on the small things and we say, oh, we can take care of this or we can handle that or you know i don't have to give god this care but if you keep a whole lot of little cares the whole lot of little cares is going to turn to one big burden of care and god says that we ought to cast all our cares you know i heard someone say all means all and that's all all means not some or a few according to what the situation seems. And so I want to encourage you not to allow pride to get in the way and keep, you know, burdens unnecessarily. Cast them, give them back to God. God says his yoke is easy and his burden is light. We were not made or created to carry burdens and carry frustrations and carry and worry all the time we, we weren't made to do that all right God wants us to give him our worries and our cares and our concerns but here's another question again I'm asking the question again but why do we stress I 
family too we also stress because we haven't we don't see a way out of a situation we we we, we're having problems developing a course of action we we feel as though there's no way to remedy a situation and it causes us sometimes to feel overwhelmed okay but this is this is this to me seems to be a faith issue because God says that he's going to work out everything for you he says he says he's going to work everything out for you but do you really believe that here's the question he doesn't say he's going to work it out uh, the way you necessarily want him to work it out but he says all things work together for the good for them that love the Lord who are called, called according to his purpose all means all and that's all all means you know not somewhere a few according to what the situation seems so we think that he's just going to work out some things no God's going to work everything out for our good even when it doesn't look like it's for your good we must have the belief in the faith that it is for our good even the difficult things in life a lot of time it's for our growth it's for our maturity it's for our good even when it doesn't feel good all the time you know but I'm asking the question again why do we stress I believe stress is also brought about based on our perspective. There's a lot of power in our perspective. You know, someone can look at a cup and see it half full. Others can look at a cup and see it half empty. And so ask yourself what perspective you're taking in terms of looking at your situations, looking at your circumstances, looking at your uh, worries and your cares. Are you seeing your trial as though God is sharpening you or maturing you, disciplining you? Do you see, you can't see the end product. We just have to trust that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. You know, God says he makes everything beautiful in his time. And a lot of times I think that we also tend to stress because we we focus on persons around us. This person has this. That person got a promotion. This, you know, let's focus on what God is doing in our lives. Stop looking to the left. Stop looking to the right. Because everybody has a different story. He's writing a different story for all of us. So I think a part of cutting out stress is staying true to your journey. Your journey to wholeness staying true to what God is doing in your life huh I think another reason we stress is because we try to do things in our might in our power but the word of God says it's not by your might nor by your power but it's by my spirit says the Lord you know I'm thinking about this verse and it really, really stands out to me because I realize that it's only by the grace of God that I'm able to be a good, uh, um, to do well on, on my job. It's only by the grace of God. It's only by the grace of God. I know it. God covers me. He protects me. And he wants to do the same thing for you, you know. He's no... You know, he's not going to do it for me and not do it for you. So, this video I think is, is a little long. Uh, I don't want to make it too long. It's long enough. But I want to encourage you to ask yourself, why am I stressed? Is it pride? Is it faith? Is it perspective? Is it the fact that you're not focusing on the promises of God? Is it that you haven't surrendered really everything to God? What is it? Why are we stressed? We don't need to be stressed. All right. So think about those things and uh, yeah, have a wonderful day. I guess I can call this car chronicles because I do a lot of thinking in the car. 
all right but thank you so much have a wonderful day everyone God.